Hello guys and welcome to episode 20 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2 with me, Tivek. And as you can see here, that's a lot of gold. 16 gears. And that's uh, the last of my gold, really. Um, these gears are used to make the basic logistic pipes, which uh, is my next step here. I'm gonna need about 16 diamonds and also a bunch of glass there we go 64 diamond transport pipes was probably not what I wanted but oh well these are used for a couple of things basic logistic pipes especially um, yeah we're gonna set up a bunch of these. Um, let me see. I need redstone. Do I have any though? Not a lot of it. So let's see here. Let's make 16 redstone torches. And let's um, make these. There we go. That's 64 basic logistics pipes. I have a few more than I will need, but yeah, that's fine. Um, we're gonna need, though, oh, let me see, I do have some stone transport pipes. Yes, that's what we're gonna need. And let me, let me make some more smooth stone pipes because we are probably gonna need a bunch. And uh, that's going to be enough. So, um, what I didn't show in the last episode was this area down here. I had it dug out and ready. This will be the main sorting area. I was thinking that I'd have uh, uh, that I had that would have some sort of um, uh, what do you call it? Um, help. I can't remember. Uh, you know, like uh, redstone sorting. Yeah, the sorting machine stuff down here. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be too complicated with this many chests. Instead, we're going to have chassis. And uh, these are made, let me see, for the Mark 1 chassis. Mark 2 chassis, actually. And we're going to need a s nice set of 58. I'm not sure I even have that much iron. But I'm going to, since I want to get this set up, pull most of the iron out of my client star. So let's uh, get a couple of stacks. It's not that I... Yeah. There we go. Um, 58. Actually, we're going to need 59 chassis, but let's make it like this. Logistics chassis, Mark II. Awesome. And here's the deal. I'm not sure these can connect properly. Because what happens if I put these like this? Oh, they do connect properly. Awesome. Okay, let me dig out this area here. Because I need to be able to move down here. And I wonder if items that go in from below will be able to get into this. Also, I need to figure out a way to hide this because this is why I wanted to really do this with tubes. Hmm. There is a way. Buffers. Or relays. But relays, I don't want to have that many relays because they would take <gasps> time to craft. No, that wouldn't work. So, let me just dig this out and I'll be right back. Well, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, the torches bleed through, but once I have everything set up, 
with uh, what I need. I'll close it up so that I don't need torches down there. So, yeah. Um, now, what I want to do is to run down here. Let me see. Down here. These. All the way down and into this room here. Now I can close this up. Because this is going to be this area. Although I might have wanted to put that in the middle. Let me just do that. Alright, so this is looking good. All these are showing green lights, which is uh, good to go. So I'm going to dig out for all these areas and uh, we'll see how I hook it up below. We'll find a way. I'm going to have everything on the floor, under the floor somehow there so that I can go down and check the flow of things. I will also build an automated smelter down there, but I'll do that between episodes. You've seen me do that before. So let me just dig these places out and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the logistics pipes coming down into this little loop down here. And uh, I'm going to go up here. And something that is really neat with the new version of these iron chests mod is that you can actually access the block underneath it. So now that I've knocked down that part there, I will be able to put the logistics chassis underneath, like so, and run this one down. I wonder... Yeah, I want to do this. Something like this. Huh. That's just sad. Although it doesn't really matter that much. There we go. Now this one says it's not connected. Why? Well, it should be. Maybe it needs... Uh, There we go. That is a too far uh, logistics pipe. Okay, so let me just arm myself with the Mercurial Eye in creation mode. And this. Oh. And I can close this place up. I'm gonna fix these. messed up ones later. And there, and there. Awesome. This is looking good. Now, question is, how do I want things to work down here? Which is something I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out. Um, I think I think I will have all the automated stuff being done in this direction on the other side of this wall or rather just knock down parts of this wall to make a bigger room because um, there's gonna be a lot of automation to be done uh, and uh, just one room won't cut it so I'm gonna think for a bit here in the meantime while I'm thinking, we have a bunch of things to craft up. First of all, we need to have a quick sort module. And this needs a diamond gear. Ouch. But we need to make blank modules, which needs a lot of paper, gold nuggets, and redstone. And I'm going to be using my trusted transmutation table for this, so as not to spend too much time digging right now instead more time building to make this working 
Once I have this up and running though, guys, I am probably not going to be using EE so much. This is mainly because, well, I will have access to a lot of materials since I'm going to be making a quarry, uh, both a buildcraft one and perhaps a redstone, uh, a red power one. So there will be quite a lot of these things too to fill our chests with items, especially of the underground stuff. The overground, I'm gonna build mob grinders, but that's a later story, especially for the bone meal. We're gonna need that, and I don't wanna use EE so much for that. I have actually thought about one thing. Uh, I got a really good comment, uh, and, uh, I can't remember who said it now. I will give you credit once I remember, though. But uh, basically, uh, I was recommended to make um, make uh, for each different place I'd have a different use. Like for instance I'd put uh, this as my home base but uh, I'd have a uh, energy creation volcano thing uh, at one of the volcano sites and so on and so forth. And I really like that idea. It's quite cool. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that. Um, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna need a bunch of nuggets. That's gonna be about half of it. Yeah, something like that. We're gonna need a few more, I think. Better have too many than too few. I don't know if I can... I'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to set up this automatic crafting table to build blank modules. So let's teach this papers. We'll grab a couple of stacks, like so. And uh, I'm going to need a lot of paper for this, so... And it needs redstone and a gold nugget like that. So let's also grab a bunch of redstone. Yeah, I know this is a bit cheap, but yeah. Uh, then we are going to need uh, the polymorphic item sink. And these require a couple of things. The iron gears, which I can't make that way. So let's set up a project table for wooden gears. And uh, let me just make a whole stack of, two stacks actually, of sticks. Um, because these need one iron gear each. Um, I do have some more of these project tables, I think. Yes, I do. We'll just uh, put them down here for now. There we go. So this is the gears. Stone gears. Let's grab a bunch of that. And one wooden gear for that. There we go. Let's uh, grab about 40 of them. I'm going to need more. There we go. That's uh, a bunch of them. And uh, I'm not going to need 64, but I'm going to need 58. The reason I'm using the polymorphic item sink is that it will automate, uh, automate, automatically, ugh, words, they're difficult, uh, they will automatically fix up my whole thing so that I don't need to worry about putting items in a specific place. Now, 
let's uh, pull out four stacks. And grab all the iron gears. Now these are used in all the different ones except for one, but we're gonna need a bunch of orange dye and redstone. Hmm. We're also gonna need about 58 of these. Let's grab 63. We're gonna need more anyhow, so. Um, let's set this one up. Grab some redstone here, and like so. Now the orange dye is made from yellow and red. Red and yellow makes orange, and we're going to need a whole bunch of that. So I'd be grabbing it from here five stacks. We are draining the client star though, so it does not come for free, it comes for cheap. And we're gonna need 58 of these. So I'll be right back once I have 58. Well, I'll run around and put them in my machine into my uh, sorting. Wow, I ran out of redstone. Uh, I'll run around and put them in uh, where they are to be set. There's not a lot of them left. And that's 58. I'm gonna need a bunch more. But yeah, this will work for now. I need to have the wrench like this and we put a polymorphic item sink. It does not have any configuration whatsoever. So I'm gonna run around doing this in all my chassis. So be right back guys, this is gonna take a while. And that's the last one. And I have a zombie in my house. Hello. Yep. So sleep through the night, I think. Yep, back in a bit. Perfect. So now each of these have a polymorphic item sink attached to them. Now we need to make just one more. Quick sort. I heard an enderman. Huh. The quick sort needs pretty much the same, but we need diamonds. So four diamonds. Four lapis, was it? Yes, and redstone. So we have a stone gear which we will upgrade to an iron gear like this which we will upgrade to one of these or not oh I need to make them a gold gear first that's four of these ouch gold gear and iron well diamond gear and we put a blank module there Lapis. And there we have a quick sorter. The quick sort module is where all the magic happens. I don't have anything there that could get sorted really. Um, can I reach that? Yes, I can. No configuration needed, it just works. Okay. Let me show you. We'll grab some cobblestone some clay and we dump it in there and it will get pumped out whoops there it goes and there it comes zipping along in the lines and it will end up in there and in there perfect now I can just dump everything that I have in here and it will get neatly sorted. Of course, it does not know how to handle any ores yet. And it does not have the chests set up either. So, now that we have that, we need to have the providers, I think. 
That's gold gears. Wow, and lapis. And that's a lot. So, yeah. We're gonna need to make gold. If I need 58 of them, I'm gonna need 58 gold. No, I'm gonna need four stacks of gold. So let's grab that. Ouch. That hurt. Which also means we're gonna need a whole more of these. Also these. Where is the redstone? We couldn't make so many because we're out of paper. Ah. Ee, -e, what would I do without you? Spend a lot of time, probably. Not doing anything. This one here can have the paper. Can make 48 before we run out of redstone. Yeah, that will do. So... 58. Now we're gonna need some more gears. So let's get some more of this wood. <laughs> Quick way to get gears. No. I'm gonna set up automatic crafting for these, I think. But that's in the future. Okay, that's gonna be more than enough. How about stone gears? Four, uh, 20 of them. We're gonna need some more cobblestone. I'm low on cobblestone? Wow. Never thought I'd be low on cobblestone. Fifty-eight. And, of course, that means I'm gonna need about four stacks of you. Perfect. I can burn that one. I got all the stone gears and... Uh, I can do that. Fifty-eight. Okay, so let's uh, get this set up now. We also need to make gold gears times 58. And if I put that there, that there, and a ton of redstone, which we have here. Oh, wrong button. A ton of redstone. I'm gonna need more lapis as well. Oh yes. I'm gonna be using up all that lapis. Cause it's four of these. Can I get all? Let's see if I run dry on anything. Lapis is going down fast. I'm a bit short on lapis. Now this is one of the more expensive ones that I can pull out of this. So, yeah. What did I run out of? Redstone. Again? I thought I had a bunch of it. <sighs> so, anything that is left over from this uh, EE fest this has turned into, will be smelted. Well, not smelted, but put back into EMC, into the client star. There we go, 58 of these provider modules. So, let me just grab these. And burn it. I'm gonna save a couple of redstone.
go. Um, just need to make sure that I have some of everything so I don't use up the last, you see. So, what I'm going to do now is go around to each of these, put in the provider module, switch it to leave item, leave first stack, leave last stack, uh, leave one item per stack on most of them, yes. And uh, that's gonna take me quite some time. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go, and I've closed up all of them just to be safe. I can dig in there if I need to, but I don't want to have anything surprise me. I wonder if I can reach that. I can. Perfect. There is one more module that I want to make. It's the item sink module. And uh, that's cactus green and iron gear. I wonder if I still have an iron gear lying around. No, I have a stone gear and I got iron. And uh, the reason why I want to make this I wonder if I do have any cactus green. Hmm. If I put in cactus in the transmutation table, yes, just for them. Don't need more. Um, an iron gear, as usual, a redstone, a blank module, and cactus green. The reason why I want to put in an item sync module here is that I can put in default route, which means that whenever items enter this logistics system, which I will try to keep contained as much as possible, um, we'll see how I do it. I'll probably have uh, chests to send items forth and back and hey get out of my house um, but basically whenever it enters the logistics system and finds nowhere to go it will go into this chest here so that I can sort it out manually this is neat looking although I would like to just move this out then I'd have to fix that because you know it is uh, so yeah, actually I should dig out so that there is a connection on that side as well, just to speed things up. Let's do that. Um, how did I do that? I did it like so. And that would require one of these. Place down there. And then these ones like that and marble transmutation do oh, that was not intended <laughs> but that is intended to be marble Can I reach that somehow? That way. Okay. Okay, so let's go back into creation mode on that one. Let's put the uh, marble brick in there for transmutation. Creation. And glass for creation. Perfect. Can put that in there. Symmetry. Yes, I love it. Okay, this works, guys. 
The good thing with the provider modules that I put in now is that if I want to request any item I can do this. I don't have a request pipe yet, I don't really see it necessary just yet, but um, my system is now aware of all the items that are in these chests, which is very nice I tell you. Um, let me see here, wow that's a lot of EMC. Although not quite as much as what can be held in a sphere. I should actually start working toward uh, client star omega. Can I do that? No, not yet. I don't quite have the EMC generation for this. Alright guys, give me a moment and see what to do next. <laughs> I made a nifty little Hidey hole. So I might fix this up to be a button with a toggle latch or something. I don't know. But for now, this works. So I can close it up when I'm done down here. So I'm going to dig out a big area in this direction here. And uh, see if I can get a little bit of automated melting and stuff going on. So... I'm going to grab my destruction catalyst. I'm gonna hope that I don't dig into anything bad. Because this is a dangerous little tool. I'm gonna start by digging this out here. Perfect. Look at that. Oh yeah. Um, I was wondering if I would dig into anything bad, and I just broke my logistics pipe system. Oops. Um, we're gonna have to just light this up for now. We're gonna have some better lighting soon. And that should be enough. No dark spots, and I have a bunch of stuff around me. It's a good time to test this out. Planks and marble and bricks and everything and that and that can go and the lever can go. The sticks can go. The sticks should get, should get sorted but the lever shouldn't. Awesome. So the lever belongs there. Awesome. So, this is not going to be enough, but it's a start. Um, I might as well just expand it out fully. So, something like this. Digging with the destruction catalyst is awesome, but careful with it, guys. It can really blow things up. And I need that one. And I really should be smart and power that down. Just in case. That should work. So, yeah. Be back with you guys in a moment. Before I get going with the automated smelting, I want to make sure that I have an automated crafting system set up for a few things. And I forgot the crafting tables. <laughs> um, I also want to put up a request pipe somewhere. Um, not sure really where, but... Hmm. I'll think a bit on it. So, let's build our automated crafting series of things here. I'm going to build them out from this wall here so we have uh, an easy access to the to the crafting uh, well to the pipes here. So, to make the crafting pipes, I think most of you have seen me done this before. And we have five crafting logistic pipes. Actually, let's move these 
in one. So they're there. Something like this. And uh, we should be able to put a basic logistics connection there. Good. Now, this one will be the first and simplest part. It will request wood and get wooden planks. This one will use two wooden planks to get four sticks. And this one will use... Um, let's make that request logistics pipe. Two gold gears. Wow. Yeah, I'll be right back when I crafted this up, guys. Alright, there are two gold gears around a request logistics pipe. I'll just put this one down here for testing. Now I should be able to go into craft and request myself four sticks. Awesome. Hmm. Alright, well, the next step is gonna be to make wooden gears and I'll also request myself a wooden gear. Actually, request myself four of these as well. And another wooden gear. Oh, not four. Oh, well. Fair enough. I had them, so that's fine. Um, this one makes the wooden gears. Uh, this one should make cobblestone gears. And now I should be able to request... No, not unless I tell it what to do. There we go. A stone gear. Let's see if it works. Four stone came... Boom. There we go. Awesome. So... I've now made a system that can make iron gears and this is just to speed things up for me a bit and uh, we'll also make I could put these on the other side I suppose um, which means I need to put this one like there um, let's uh, request up I'm going to make one that creates uh, an automated crafting table. So I'm going to need two crafting benches and uh, eight of these. I'm also going to need to make two more of these. And uh, let's see. I suppose I can make another one. Actually, mm, that's going to be enough. Let's see now. On that line there. And I want this one to make the crafting table. And I want that one to make the automated crafting table. Perfect. And let's put down the crafting logistics pipes. And here I probably want to put things more underground. Because otherwise it's going to be very difficult moving around in this place. So let me dig this down, not one, but two. And uh, we'll put that logistics pipe there. And we can have it come up here. 
And we are in transmutation mode. Well, we're gonna dig this anyhow, so... Hmm. Why can't I jump up? There we go. And, uh... That should leave two on this side. Two on that side. Before it goes up. Looks a bit nicer, doesn't it? And it'll make things a lot easier for me to move around. Um, let me just transmute these. And I suppose I can just... Oh. Do this for now. I don't have any glass with me. So, now if I put... Uh, one of these there and the request pipe so that I have a testing place. Uh, I can now request another... Oh yeah, forgot about that. I'm gonna need four... No, three of these. Nice and fast. That's one, two, and three. Awesome. And I suppose, since I make the iron gears, what is the recipe for these again? It's gold gears. So, as you can see, I'm really low on gold. So I'm going to transmute up a bunch. Let's say a stack. Not more, because I don't want to have too much. And dump this in there. Okay. The reason for this is that I want to be able to craft logistics pipes on need. I've got plenty of diamond pipes for this, so Let's get an iron gear, and this is cool. It makes the wood, makes the sticks, cobblestone, and out comes an iron gear. And the iron gear with gold around makes... a gold gear. And now let's see here. The gold gears... are used to make the basic logistics pipes. So we're gonna need to request some redstone. If I have any. Just one, also one stick. I have a stick as well, so... No, not one of these. Um, like that. This one can make the gold gears now, and this one can make the redstone torches. And I'm gonna request that much glass. Because if I request up, uh, let's see, two of these and uh, two of these and one of these and we wait that's the diamond pipe and I saw the gold gear and the other one we got eight basic logistics pipes awesome now I have everything set up to expand on my automated crafting system Awesome. So, now I can just request up more of these basic logistics pipes whenever I need them. Which is very neat, and I'm going to need a lot of them, because you can imagine this room will probably be quite full of little crafting 
thing is. So I'll be right back with you guys in a moment. And I think that's a wrap for this episode. Um, I didn't add anything else, I just went up to clean up my inventory a little bit, and uh, um, yeah. This is episode 20, and I will be putting up a world download for you guys. It's my first, so there might be problems. I do know about the pitfall with the alchemy bag, but I hope the other items should be okay. Um, remember that I'm using the 2.9 beta of Battle Gear, so you will need to use that one, or I'm pretty sure things won't work for you. So, I'm gonna sleep through the night and uh, end the episode here. Have a really good one, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the world download. It's in the Dropbox link that is uh, below in the uh, in the world description, in the YouTube description. Alright, so, take it easy, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.